as he campaigns for the U.S. Senate, Democrat-turned-Republican Kevin Nicholson has compared his political journey to the path once taken by former President Ronald Reagan. But that comparison could get awkward now that a nearly 18-year-old video has surfaced in which Nicholson appears to agree with Democratic strategist Paul Begala's assertion that Presidents Reagan and George H.W. Bush drove the U.S. economy into a ditch. The exchange came during a July 2000 broadcast of Equal Time on MSNBC. Nicholson was then the president of the College Democrats of America. He appeared alongside Scott Stewart, then chairman of the College Republicans, during an interview with Begala and former Republican Congressman Bob Dornan. Besides signaling agreement with Begala's criticism of Reagan and Bush the elder, Nicholson supported a woman's right to choose and took issue with the effectiveness of then-Gov. Tommy Thompson's welfare reform plan in Wisconsin. For good measure, Nicholson said that Illinois Democratic U.S. Sen. Dick Durbin would be a good vice presidential running mate for Al Gore, the Democratic presidential standard bearer in 2000. The video will likely become fodder in the heated Republican primary that matches Nicholson with state Sen. Leah Bookmere of Brookfield. They want to take on Democratic U.S. Sen. Tammy Baldwin in the fall. But there is a twist Stewart, the former leader of the college Republicans, supports Nicholson in his run for the Senate. I remember telling him years ago, you're going to become a Republican soon enough, Stewart told the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. He had such strong character, family values, an interest in service. I knew that he was on his way toward becoming a Republican at some point or another. And I was right. Bookmere campaign manager Jess Ward said the comments on the video fit a pattern of radically different opinions and viewpoints that Kevin Nicholson held before he was a Republican candidate for U.S. Senate The voters have two choices, a candidate that says he'll deliver for conservatives, or one who has consistently delivered for them. Nicholson has acknowledged his Democratic past during appearances across the state. He said his political views changed through life experiences. In a statement, Nicholson said, I talk to people across our state daily about being a former Democrat because that experience helped shape who I am and it actually made me a conservative Republican. The birth of our three wonderful kids made me pro-life. My experience as a business leader made me understand how lower taxes and fewer regulations help create jobs and my experience as a combat veteran shaped my understanding of the threats faced by our nation. So while my opposition continues to push desperate narratives as our lead steadily grows, I'm going to continue talking to Wisconsin voters about these core conservative values. I was pleased to sign the Republican Party of Wisconsin's Unity Pledge, Wednesday, and look forward to representing my party as we take on, and ultimately defeat, Tammy Baldwin later this year. In 2000, Nicholson supported abortion rights and on the show discussed the issue in the context of appointments to the U.S. 